Hi folks, uh, small size today, or this morning, <coughs> couldn't go out on the weekly bike ride along the Wanderer, it's just too too wet, too windy, <coughs> so quite enjoying painting today. It's a bit, bit small but then I want to show you the mixing as well. I could get it a bit bigger if I just un unhook. It's just a bit of greaseproof paper and I can just sort of put it more or less where I like. All right, that should be a bit better. All right, uh, all right okay, well that's a as good as we get. I hope I don't get my head in the way. Very easy not to, because of the angle of the camera and the angle of my board. If I wasn't filming, would I, everything I've done has been filmed for seven and a half years on YouTube. But if I was, I would have the easel ninety degrees. But I can't get the camera down low enough. Otherwise, it would be in front of my chest. I, I wouldn't be able to wield my brushes. Uh, right now, uh, there is a sort of a um, a memory, or a, probably, I think it was last year or the year before. Last year, I think. No, it probably was last year. Um, if I can find some Elizabeth, just hold on, hold on a sec. Elizabeth, 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 what's that one? Elizabeth, I've got some, I've got some somewhere. But if I can't find it, no, no, quite. Worries, worries. Oh, yes, I have got some. Oh, it's a bit dry in the tube. Permanent Elizabeth crimson, not of your wind, old Winston tube. Oh, I'll just have to grip it in these. Yeah, great. See if I can squeeze some out. Oh, sorry. Um, no. Put me here, plugs back. I, I sort of half listen to the radio. I don't, I don't listen to music on, when I'm videoing because you tend to paint in time with the music and it goes all over the place and you get angry. So I'll use it. Let's have a bit of, bit of that. Mix that with a bit of ultramarine. We've got a lavender, haven't we? My wife just uh, pruned all the lavender plants in our front garden. Uh, okay, so let's get a, get a sky in. I'd like to get my skies in first. I'm using quite a bit of oil. Uh, let's do a, a bit of a sketch. Though. Now I remember walking through the lavender field. Well, let's just have horizon. And some trees. Well, I'll get the, I want, I'm trying to do slabby. And we'll have to, I'm not sure which way the. I think the fields sort of go that way. The uh, rows of lavender. But anyway, it's going to be an impression. Got me bovril. Bovril's okay to drink cold, but cold tea, when it goes cold, because I forget to drink it, it's awful. So I'm going to make this up from memory and try just to make a painting rather than even a copy from my memory, which would be very faulty. So let's get a bit of a bit of sky in, let's have a bit of white, a bit of ultramarine. Plenty of oil. This is on a little bit of a cheap Fabriano studio paper. Great surface to paint on. I prefer painting in, in oils. And I'm, when I get back to watercolours, I'm going to use the uh, Saunders Waterford. Okay. Now I haven't cleaned my brushes other than in the rags that I'm using because anything petrochemical 
solvents, thinners, are not very good on your chest. <coughs> it's all right when you're young, you don't notice the, what it's, the damage it's doing, but over many years, oh, it's nice to put that a lizard in there. Oh, God, isn't that wretched? Okay, it's just flat it. Give me a brush again. Bit of ochre. Before the uh, touch of red in there. Don't forget the oil. The oil will just help it flow. There's a gap in the trees where you go through a stile, the other end of this path here. Okay, quite like that. Let's just get a bit of that blue. Right, that'll do. Uh, okay, so you, I'll see if I can get away with this brush. The, uh, the the trees now. I want some background trees in blue or queeny blue. Oh, that's lovely. Uh, oops, and um, some heavier stuff for the bushes outlining the, the the field in front of the trees. So let's get some blue, some white, and some yellow. Now you can, oh, I'll rip that. You can change this very quickly. Okay, let's get in some uh, warmer greens now. Sort of the bushes, red, blue, yellow. Blue, yellow, cadmium red.
Yes. Now the field is on a bit of a slope really, but uh, oh, I don't think I'll show that. I'll just do it. I mean, I'm not actually painting the lavender fields, I'm painting an impression of it. Okay, now then. Let's get this path in. It'll be a bit of a sort of a grey ochre white. This goes, this is a right of way through the field, they can't stop you going on this and taking your photographs. They, they charge to even go in to the lavender field to pick it. Or just to walk around, but if, if you go up the hill, you've got this so uh, nice. A slightly bluer coming into the distance here. I haven't used any of that, so... I'll change that. Okay, let's uh, get some of this lavender here. I'm going to have to clean the palette in a minute. It's very, very lovely. More blue. But the thing is to get the paint on and then adjust it later. Fill those holes in the paper. Uh, right, let's uh, get some more white. Plenty of oil to get the paint lubricated. We we'll get a bit darker as we come to the uh, foreground. And a bit of green in it as well. See that uh, oil, I'm trying to fill the, uh, the grain of this paper. Okay, now we've put in some uh, This would be the edge of the, uh, the lavender. There would be a path, there's a path down here as well. So 
soften that. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Put a little bit of shadow in there. Let's get some of that lavender colour in the, the distant trees. The paint's dried right into that. Try to replicate lavender in my garden. Um, this area used to be fame, famous for its lavender, the lavender fields, of course, also in lavender fields. So my house is built on lavender fields.
Well, I'll get some it's a dark shadow that I want underneath here.
Right, um, uh, I'm going to move this one over. It's easier than moving the... Uh, oops. Easier said than done, of course. So that I can get the uh, the mount on without going without going into the uh, alizarin crimson. That just about fits. Okay, with another little little switch, I'll move the camera over. Anybody know a film cameraman that would do this for nothing? Uh, go too far there. Oh, okay, well, there we are, lapping the fields. Not the best, but uh, I like the sky, although I quite like the background. I couldn't really get this bright enough to show, um, anyway I haven't done one of these since the last one, which was two years ago. Okay guys, thanks for watching, see you soon, bye bye.